there you are. Hello and welcome. Bonjour mon ami. Welcome to the DS7 Crossback, an indulgent and luxury new product of France. Built with the same passion as Dior, Lancôme and Bugatti, DS Automobiles have launched a car for the style conscious and chic. They offer two diesel, one petrol and a super electric one, depending on when you're watching. Today we're testing the 225 horsepower 1.6 petrol engine with an 8-speed automatic gearbox. This is known as the performance line, by the way, when you see it. And there are various lines you can have, depending on how much luxury you want. What's important is the power. 225 horsepower from a 1.6 petrol. That's impressive. Très impressionnant. Most of the range comes with active scan suspension, which cleverly reads the road ahead for additional comfort in that. Also vision LEDs, DS connected nav, and a 12 inch active touchscreen. And contrary to what some people say, I'm actually a huge fan of this. I don't find it complicated. I think it's one of the nicest, that's my lane departure warning by the way. I think this is one of the nicest systems you can get for the money. On the left hand side you can control everything and maps are all there and music and artwork. Brilliant. And when you finish marvelling at that you can then switch your phone to it and you can get free Apple CarPlay and free Android Auto. And on the right this is great because this is like another virtual cockpit with 3D mapping and buildings. So you can see stuff like Big Ben and that, and the Arc de Triomphe. Sadly, there wasn't the budget for me to be able to go and show you exactly how that works. So I instead popped into London so that I could show you some of it, like the speed camera detectors, the maps and the virtual cockpit. All impressive, but actually the same as a 5008 Persia. But that's not a bad thing because a the Peugeot 5008 is already a very good car and b you can get one of these depending on the model for about 300 pounds a month ish have a look on the website in the description after this video and you can see the sort of money that you might lease one of these for and I think now's a good time to talk about leasing because of ULES and diesel uncertainty they're not gonna you don't have to worry you just get in and go who cares about residual values or whether they're going to extend the ULES zone to your driveway however it isn't four-wheel drive and despite being called a seven crossback the DS does not have seven seats but maybe that's because the French know that the fashion of SUVs isn't necessarily four-wheel drive. It is, in fact, looking good and being higher up. This then is a very comfortable and lavish thing to drive around in. And as SUVs are chosen largely by women today, this is a great proposition. It is high up, it is easy to drive, and it is a bit like driving around in your favourite Chloe handbag which, by the way, is also French. And for men, well, it works as well because it's got all that stuff. At that point, the phone rang. It was the big boss of the website to ask how things were getting on and to suggest some ideas. Yep, doing it now, mate. Yeah, yeah, I've done, I've done quite a few French references. I haven't done the dress-up thing, mate, if I'm honest. It's just, well, I'm not a clown. I don't really want to do clowny stuff. How much extra are you talking? Going to soon of DS brochure. Hello, this is the new French car from DS Automobiles. You can't afford it. Okay, you'd lease it though, couldn't you? It is beautiful, isn't it? Would you like to have a little look around? Mm. And, uh, those headlights are very nice, aren't they? Yeah, one each. One each, yes. All right, yeah. yeah. And you, you'll give us a sample to try yeah, out? Yeah, you can have this one. <laughs> yeah. So then, at this point, we really should look at what you get. And what better location than a chic and fashionable English village? Firstly, there's the design. From the back, it looks like a concept car. And the same could be said for the interior. And those impressive LEDs, which have cornering and high beam assist. The interior is one of the nicest on the market. This one has Alcantara on almost every surface. And it's clear that the DS is a premium choice for those with sophistication and style and appreciation of attention to detail. It also has 
a bigger boot than a Jaguar E-Pace, and lots of legroom in the back. A couple of other things I like. If you specify it, you can have a camera put into the mirror which records all your trips. Very good for safety and insurance purposes. The dash, beautifully made, a lot of attention to detail. Takes eight hours to put this dash together and it's done by hand. And every little bit of stitching even is very, very individually done. And if you get the expensive one, you can have pearl stitching with tiny little pearls in. Also, the leather, if you choose it, is special leather. It's Bavarian leather only, which means no mosquitoes have been involved in the process of cowhide. That's the leather to have. Now, good things do cost money, and as a result, you'll find yourself paying for them, such as a pan roof, a 360 degree camera, or any kind of driving assistant or auto cruise. And even this 1.6 petrol engine, which I would recommend, by the way, is not the cheapest. Ah, well, you know what they say, there's no such thing as a perfect car. I wonder, though, if that will affect the verdict. Now, having driven the two cars upon which this is based, the Peugeot 3008 and the 5008, for a good long period of time, including this one, I am actually a fan. This doesn't have any road noise. It doesn't have any wind noise particularly. The navigation works. The interior is nice. I like the attention to detail, and I like the individuality of it. In fact, this is a fast, quick, connected and stylish car. It should be something you should consider. And if you don't, well, you'd be foolish. You'd be un imbécile, un gibon, un poisson rouge, even. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be, no, that's a goldfish, sorry. Despite my French, I do know a little about cars. Enough to know that I'd prefer one of these over a Tiguan, for instance. The same might apply to a Jaguar E-Pace and a BMW X1, but only if the car is fitted with that suspension that this has. It may otherwise be a completely different car, and that's up to you to go find out for yourself. But no matter who you are, a trendy mum with kids, a family man, or someone who will do pretty much anything as long as there's a fee, the DS will fit into your life as snugly as a Louis Vuitton. On shoe. And even though we didn't need yet another SUV, there's always room in my book for a good one.